this tutorial, we are considering features of graphic packages. The features of graphic packages are tools within the software environment that make creating and editing graphics possible. Most of the graphic packages discussed under examples of graphic packages have tools such as brushes, pencil, the eraser, etc which helps us to create and edit objects. In this tutorial, we shall discuss the features of two popularly used graphic packages. There is, we'll talk about the Microsoft Paint, which represents a raster or painting application, and the Core Draw, which represents a vector application. Microsoft Paint. Microsoft Paint is a simple painting graphics application that comes with all versions of the Windows operating system. It can be used to scan images and also create and modify objects. It can open and save files in the following formats, the JPEG or JPG, the GIF, PNG, TIF, and bitmap formats. Let us look at the features of Microsoft's environment. Okay, first of all, let us open Microsoft Paint to see the environment and the features. We go to the Start and you select Paint from the Start menu. I am working with Microsoft Windows 11. And here you notice there are features and tools that you will use to create um, graphics in Paint. Look at the tools here, look at the shapes, the size, the foreground color, the background color, and the color palette. Now, when you want to create, when you want to create graphics, you need things like the pencil tool, the eraser tool, the color picker tool, the fill color tool, the magnifier tool, and the text tool. Then here are brushes you use to create paint, to paint some things. You can select any of the brushes here. If you point at this one, you tell you this one is a natural pencil. This one is the airbrush and so on and so forth. Then when you look at the shapes, you notice there are different kinds of shapes here. You have the line, the curve, the oval, the rectangle, and so on and so forth. Whichever one you point at, it will show you the name of that particular shape. Then here we have the size tool. The size tool helps you to create different kinds of line width or the width of the tool you selected. For example, if I select the eraser tool, I would choose the size to determine the width of the eraser as I am going to use it on the graphic. Then here we have the foreground color, we have the background color, then these are the color palettes. If you select the foreground color, you can choose a color from the palette. If you choose the background color, you can choose a color from the palette. And these are the features that will help you to create graphics here using paint. Paint tools and their uses. Let us look at each of the tools of Microsoft Paint, which you will be able to use to create and edit images and how to use them. The first one we'll look at is the tool width or size. This tool is used to set the width of a selected tool, for example the eraser, a line or a curve with which you use to draw shapes. Color 1 is used for the foreground color of objects. Click this tool and select a color palette before drawing an object. It is usually used by the pencil tool brushes and the outline of a shape. The color 2. 
this is used for the background color of shapes you can click this tool and select a color palette to set the background of an object it is usually used by the eraser tool and the shape fill tool then we have the color palette this is used to set the outline and the fill color of objects when you choose the color of your choice from the color palette to set the foreground or the background color of an object then we have shapes which is used to create an object you can choose your desired shape to draw an object such as a line an eclipse an ellipse sorry a rectangle or triangle and so on and so forth we have the paint brushes which is used to apply color to an object you can choose the brush to make paintings of different thickness and forms it depends on the particular brush you choose we have the pencil tool which you use to draw a free form line or curves we have the color fill tool which is used to fill an enclosed shape with color you can select it then you click an area of on the canvas to apply a foreground color or you right click on it to apply a background color we have the text tool which you use to add text to your object or create text within the workspace we also have the eraser tool which is used to clean areas of your drawing or a picture when you select the eraser tool you can choose the eraser width by selecting the size then you can clean an area of the object one thing with the eraser tool is that the background color you chose when you clean up an area of your diagram or a picture the background color will be shown on that picture we have the color picker tool this color picker tool is usually used to copy a color from an image or a picture that exists within your diagram or in your workspace then you can use that color and apply to another color when the color picker tool is used it can add color to the foreground or the background color which you now use to apply to the current image then finally we have the magnifier the magnifier is used to enlarge parts of an object on the workspace when you select the magnifier and click on the object you zoom in or you zoom out the object we shall illustrate how to create objects in Microsoft Paint will be creating objects like a line call rectangle square ellipse circle text and painting making a line in microsoft paint is simple open microsoft paint use the pencil to select the size of the width of the line and select a color then click and drag your line will not be that straight because you are using the pencil tool depending on how you keep your hand now to make a straight line use the line tool from the shapes select choose the size of the line the width of the line then select a color then click and drag ensure that the line is straight then you release your hand then to make a curve is also as simple as making a line if you choose to use the pencil tool you click on the pencil tool then you click and drag to make a curve You can also use the curve tool from the shapes. Like I selected, you can change the width and uh, the color of the curve. 
then here when you click and drag you drag a straight line depending on the length and the size the diameter of the curve then when you release the line you now click outside the line two times then the curve is made now you can actually make a curve of different shapes like here I'm going to make this curve to come up here so that's how to make a curve it's very simple as simple as that to draw your rectangle you, see, you still follow the same procedure as before select the rectangle to click and drag to make a rectangle of your choice sorry select the rectangle to click and drag to make the rectangle of your choice now the fill color of the rectangle will be the background color which is the color in color 2 I will have to select it and you go to the field to and make it solid now each time i draw a rectangle like i, I want a red color um this color here when i drag the rectangle it will follow the field color now to draw a square you have to hold down the shift key while you drag the rectangle to it's the same rectangle tool but the difference is that you hold down the shift key while dragging okay let us draw ellipse and circle let's increase the work area or workspace um, here when we select the circle tool let's um, set the background color to lemon then you can click and drag and that's the ellipse okay if I actually want to make a circle the same ellipse too but I will hold down the shift key while I click and drag let us make a painting and um, add text to it like we we need the brush here we select um let's select a particular calligraphic brush here and i will choose um a blue color um let me increase the width a bit then let me just draw a kind of curve here i'm trying to create something let's use the crayon to come up like this okay you can use any brush of your choice i'm using a brush now to cover it let me use another color over around this here okay actually you can use any of the brushes and do whatever you want to do whatever you want to do you can even draw a human being adding some kind things that you feel like adding you are actually trying to make painting so you can use the paint brush to paint anything of your choice now to add text you simply click on the text tool when you select the text tool you click at the area where you want to add the text then the text box appears you can now add your text now you notice that the text properties are here 
you can select it select the text and change the font then you can also you can also change the size you can make it bold or whatever you want to make it then you can also move the font to a particular location of your choice when you are done you click outside then corel draw is a professional vector graphic design application developed for professionals and used by expert graphic designers it is used to create different kinds of designs, including illustrations, adverts, logos, engraving. You can use it in printing and publishing and all kinds of design. In the highly competitive market for graphic design packages, CorelDRAW has a considerable market share. This is because of its rich features and acceptability among professionals. Basic features of CorelDRAW. Unlike Microsoft Paint, the features of CorelDRAW graphic package are overwhelming, especially for beginners. You may be lost at the first time you open CorelDRAW window. To assist beginners, we have listed the basic features of CorelDRAW window, no matter the version. Because most graphic applications share the same features, it will help you also if you choose other vector applications. The workspace area is the area where drawings can be created within the Corel Draw window. It is bordered by the printable page. As you can see, the printable page is the rectangular area within the Corel Draw window that contains the objects for printing. This is the actual area where you can print after you have created your drawing. You can set up the page depending on what you want to print like business card or letter headed paper or banner etc the title bar the title bar displays the title of the current open graphic window usually the name used to save the graphic file if the currently open graphic is not saved it will display untitled one or two or three depending on what the ruler is used to determine the size and position of an object in the Corel Draw window. If the ruler is not showing, you can go to the View menu and select Rulers. The menu bar is an area that contains the list of menus with pulled down contents. These pulled down contents are commands used to accomplish tasks while creating drawings. Applications without menu bars have ribbons, such as Microsoft Word. The standard toolbar. In CorelDRAW, the standard toolbar is a detachable, um, a detachable bar that contains commands for easy access. You can actually detach it and place it in any location of your choice while working with CorelDRAW. Property bar. The property bar is also a detachable toolbar which contains commands that is related to the currently selected object or two. The toolbox. The toolbox is also a detachable bar that contains tools for selecting, modifying, and filling objects in the drawing window. While working with CorelDRAW, you will make use of the toolbox more often. The color palette. The color palette is a movable bar that contains color swatches, which you can use for filling colors and the lines of your objects. The object's properties. This property is used to apply effects on the selected objects. In conclusion, we discussed the features of graphic packages using Microsoft Paint and CorelDRAW. The features of CorelDRAW are observed to be more complex than that of Microsoft Paint. However, in both graphic packages, there are tools such as pencil, eraser, and other kinds of drawing tools which you can use to create your objects.